Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuhu. Greetings of peace to everyone. I am Charmaine Joyce S. Maningo and my partner is Ms. Shara Julia A. Castillo. And we are going to discuss about nationality and statelessness as part of our requirement in our subject, Public International Law, under Attorney Katrina Vanessa Y. Hagorilis. To begin with, let us define what is nationality. Nationality refers to a relationship between a person and his or her nation. Or in legal terms, a country, for example, a place to whom a person has or is claimed to owe his or her origin, culture, familiarity, association, affiliation, fidelity, and loyalty. Who is a citizen? A citizen is a person having the title of citizenship. He is a member of political community who enjoys full civil and political rights and is afforded protection inside and outside the territory of the state. Citizenship and nationality are not always synonymous. Citizenship is applicable in determining the status of a person. On the other hand, nationality not only denotes the identity, it may also refer to ownership. For example, an aircraft, ship, or company. Nationality is wider than the citizenship. All citizens are nationals of a state, but all nationals may not be citizens. A person may acquire nationality by birth in two ways. A. Use solely or use lossy. The place of birth serves as the basis for acquiring citizenship. A person becomes a citizen of a state where he is born irrespective of the citizenship of the parents. It is nationality according to territory or locality of birth. Second is jus sanguinis. Nationality may also be acquired by a person on the basis of the nationality of either parents. It is nationality according to the nationality of the parents. Blood relationship is the basis for the acquisition of citizenship. The children follow the citizenship of their parents or one of them. Naturalization. Through naturalization, an alien by birth acquires the nationality of the naturalizing state. First, in marriage, the wife assumes her husband's nationality if the latter is the national of another state. Second, legitimation. A legitimate child acquires the nationality of his father. And third, an option. If a person fulfills the requisite conditions prescribed by the law of any state, he may be offered nationality by that state. In the purchase of real estate, an alien who buys a real estate in a foreign land can get the rights of citizenship if he so desires. Naturalization by domicile. If a person keeps domicile of a state, he or she also gets the nationality of that state. Next is by government service. If a person gets government service in a state, he or she acquires the nationality of that state. Next is permission by state to apply. If the law of any state permits application from persons for conferring nationality, such person may get nationality if they prove their eligibility. Dual nationality. A dual national possesses the citizenship of more than one nation. An individual may acquire dual nationality because first, he or she was born in nation that applies the use solely rule of automatic nationality by first. Second, simultaneously acquire the parent citizenship when their home nation applies the use sanguinis rule of parental nationality. The initial burdens as a result of dual nationality are first, the jurisdiction, second, the taxes, third, military service, and fourth, protection when he or she is harmed in a third nation. Corporate nationality. Siege social is a concept and international law for determining the nationality of companies. Accordingly, a company's nationality derives from the place where the legal entity's judicial and economic integration is situated or in other words, the company's principal place of establishment. The Philippine Nationality Law is based upon the principles of use and guineas for right of blood and therefore descent from a parent who is a citizen or national of the Republic of the Philippines is the primary method of acquiring Philippine citizenship. So here in the Philippines, uh, citizenship may be acquired by birth and 
match your presentation. Statelessness. A person is stateless if he or she is not considered as a national by any state under the operation of its law. Individuals are stateless when they lack the nationality of any state. Loss of one's original citizenship typically conferred by birth or parentage without obtaining a new citizenship renders the individual stateless. The individuals cannot claim the band of citizenship with any state to protect them. And there is no state to come to aid of an individual who is in need of diplomatic representation. That's all for today's video presentation. Thank you for watching.